everybody, welcome to the kitchen. Today we're gonna make chana masala. This is one of my favorite vegetarian dishes from India, and I do enjoy it. Trader Joe's makes this a really, really good version, and it's in their freezer section, so if you don't have time to make it, you can still enjoy it. Trader Joe's has it in the freezer section. Uh, you microwave it, it's awesome, really good. But I wanna make it today for myself and for everybody, so let's experiment. We're gonna try this out. Um, and I wrote up the recipe and then I noticed that I, I wanted to add some things. Um, I love chickpeas, but I do like to have a little bit, I want peas in it, so I'm gonna add peas. And I also left out a bay leaf, so we're gonna add a bay leaf. So our recipe, we've got our olive oil already ready. We have our chickpeas, we're gonna do dried ones, although you can do canned. So if you are uh, rushed for time, canned chickpeas is perfectly fine. I've got our fresh ginger, which I'm gonna have to peel and grate. We have our garlic, our light brown sugar to balance out all of the spices. We want a little sweetness in there so it's not overly powered by all the spices that we're gonna put in. And then what we do have here though are all of our spices. The garam masala spice mix. Now if you don't have this or the store doesn't have it, you can Google it and look online and they will give you um, to make your own at home and you could make up your own blend if you want, if you can't find this in the store. Uh, ground coriander, ground cumin, ground turmeric, and uh, if you are a fan of curry, this is the, the um, spice that gives it curry, usually that yellowish color, it's turmeric. Our paprika, cayenne, and of course the bay leaves, So um, and kosher salt. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna, um, we're gonna get everything I'll put all of our mise en place assembled. We're gonna measure everything out. I've gotta chop up the onion finely and um, what else? Oh, I gotta peel the ginger and grate it. And then we're gonna to have to mince up the garlic. So a couple of steps I gotta do. I'll come back and show you everything in a minute. All right, so we're working on the chana masala and I have our chickpeas. They soaked overnight. So now I'm gonna strain off the liquid and then we're gonna cook them in some boiling water. And if you recall when we made the hummus and I used dried chickpeas, we added a bay leaf and a garlic to the water. But we are doing that, so I'm gonna mix these off. And then we're gonna cook them for a couple hours in that water and then we can start making our chana masala. So we had to prepare the chickpeas. Now if you're using canned chickpeas, you of course don't need to do this step, but I had the dried ones. So um, I've got water here, a large stock pot. This is about six cups of water. And we're doing a half bag, eight ounces of chickpeas. And I'm gonna add my bay leaf. I'm gonna add my clove of garlic. And I'm just gonna add some kosher salt. Just a little sprinkle. That'll help bring the water up to a boil quickly. And um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna add my drained chickpeas. I'm gonna rinse them off at one time. And then we'll start cooking those. Okay, so in they go. And again, this is probably gonna cook for about an hour, an hour and a half from the time that it comes to a boil. All right, so we have our chickpeas going, um, 28 more minutes. It's quite a long time to cook those. Um, uh, but we hi, have, guys. Oh, hello. Are you helping me today? Yep. Yay. We have our onions cut. We have our cilantro ready. There's Here. our bay leaves. What's now we got to get. That's coriander. What's this called? Turmeric. This, this called? That one's turmeric. What is this called? Cumin. What is this called? Sesame seeds. What's this called? Garam masala. What's this called? Cardamom. Okay, so today we're going to make is chicken. No, chana masala. Can you say that? Chana masala. Yay, chana masala. So we have our mise en place. We're getting that together. Okay. And we have our garlic, our light brown sugar. <laughs> Diced tomatoes, kosher salt, paprika, and now our garlic. Um, sorry, ginger. So, how do we prepare our ginger? We haven't really done anything with what ginger do we so far. Need? Ah, so we're gonna the ah. we're gonna peel this with the peeler, and we're gonna probably just take a, a knuckle of it. What it's, do we need first? These are called the knuckles. So what we, do we need 
first. Well, we're gonna use this box grater. Now, this is not a box, it's sort of a flat one, but this is perfect for grating it's nutmeg and ginger. We have to peel it first. There's a tough skin on it. So we'll use the peeler, we'll peel that off, and then we'll start grating. Okay. Okay, so I've peeled it. Now, unfortunately, see how it was packaged? It was saran wrap, so I couldn't feel the uh, ginger. I prefer buying ginger loose, not already in a package, because then you get to feel it, and I would have felt that the back is dried out. It's softer, and so that I can't use. I'm just gonna use this part. Uh, we need two tablespoons, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grate it along here until I get two tablespoons worth. All right, we're putting everybody to work here. So we're getting this ginger grated. We need two tablespoons. And um, we have our measuring spoons right here. And as soon as we've got two tablespoons worth, which is the biggest one, then we can stop grating. So yep. press down a little harder. Be careful, don't cut your fingers. Go. There you go. Okay, so you can see it's grating up. That's what you're looking for. What does um, chana masala mean? Chana masala? Yeah. Chana masala is a um, vegetarian dish from India, and it's made with... Uh, garlic. Garlic, yeah. What else? Um, onion. Yeah. Do you know what chana means in... No. Chana is chickpeas. And I love this recipe actually so much. I even have it in my freezer. So see, I told you Trader Joe's, they have chana masala. So I love this a lot. I actually keep it, this is a really good chana masala. Keep it in the freezer. This is a great lunch. I need help. Oh, you do? Okay, uh, because, um, All right, let's see, wait, small. maybe you've had enough. Can you take off? Let's see how much you've done. I'm, I'm gonna try. Whoa, there you go. That's a lot. That's probably two tablespoons. So you're going to pack it in. We're going to get two tablespoons. Me, Good job. Me too, me too. So our two tablespoons of ginger are right there. And then we need our three garlic cloves. And I have got this great garlic press. So it's very simple. We're going to put the garlic cloves in here and then press it. You want to hold this? Are you going to do the job? I'm going to do it. Okay. No, no, no. Not the measuring spoons. We need you to put the garlic. I'm going to put this in here. And then you're going to press it down. Okay, and put it over this. We're going to press it into here. The garlic and the ginger go in at the same time, so we're going to put them in the bowl together. And you're going to squeeze really hard. Can you, you need help? Okay, so let me help you. There we go. See the garlic's coming right out? You squeeze it, and this will take care of getting all the garlic squished. So we'll get all of that into our little bowl. Now this is our tablespoon of ground cumin. So we're gonna dump that into our garlic and ginger. Thank you, go ahead, dump it all in. Okay, so now these are the first couple of the ingredients into our chana masala. 